Hello everyone, my name is Mouse Tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Bitbucket for your repo. Now, why am I going to show this? Well, you guys might have some problems. You might have some things that you walk up to that you don't know that you uh, your game crashes. Well, this is a system that you put your source code online so I can read it, view it online. So that's a really easy system that we're going to use to um, to make sure that we can exchange code. Now there are two things that we need to download. First one is source tree. So click that, type that in Google and you'll find it right here, which is the best program that I've ever uh, find, found. So make sure you download that and then install it. Shouldn't be too hard. Um, second thing that you want to do is create a new account on bitbucket.org. So you go there, you uh, make an account and you get on this page. Obviously this will be empty but no problem. So you click on the create button right here and you type a name. I'm gonna call it video tutorial. Now make sure you unmark access level and select the kit, repository type and you'll want to say uh, it's a Java language. So you click on create repository and there you go. You got a repository. Now we need to add the source code to here so what we do is we open up our source tree. Well, mine is uh, rather full already, um, but don't worry about that. Um, what you want to do is click on clone new and select create new repository. Yeah. So what you want to do is go to video tutorial, select map, and click on create. There you go. So you got your um, oops, you got you a repo. Now there is one thing that I've already done. Um, what you need to do so go to your folder that you work in, select new text document, and call it gitignore.txt. Now there are some files that you want to um, exclude, which are those files. So you open up your um, gitignore.txt and paste them in. They will be in the description, so you don't have to worry about that. So once you have pasted them in, you want to open up a command prompt in your video tutorial, so shift right click and type ren rename gitignore.txt.gitignore. So that will change that gitignore.txt file to a .gitignore file. That's what we need. So then you will have quite a few less um, classes right here. You will have quite a few but not as many as you would have without the gitignore. So what you do is you click on you right click on this remote and click new remote. So we're gonna add a new remote. Now you go to your bitbucket and you go to I'm starting from scratch and you copy this long link right here. You add that into URL path and you call your remote remote uh, origin origin origin. Click on OK and click OK again. So now we got a remote at origin which is cool. Now what we do is we click on this arrow which will stage all the files so we say OK all these files are, are correct they need to be pushed. So we click on this commit button right here and you give it a message. Uh, my first commit. Now there are a few things that you want to do. Uh, first one is push commits directly to origin because that's what we're going to push to. And you want to click on this commit button. Like that. If you want you can show the output. There we go. So we create a new master branch and stuff like that. But if we now go to here, you can see that there we go. It is right there. Now I'm not sure do we... Now we pushed it already. So when we go back to Bitbucket right now and you click on source, there you go, there's all your source files, there's everything that, you, that I need to see that you maybe want to see. So that's that. Um, the repo is online, so if you want you can give me this link and I'll find out what's wrong with your mod. So once again, if you want to make a change, you uh, make a change of course. Uh, video tutorial. Um, my change. There you go, change. You open up your source tree. It will say, okay, you have some uncommitted changes right there. That's your change. You click on this double arrow, so everything will go into the stage file. Click commit. Uh, my second 
commit. You press commit and sometimes when you forget to push commits directly to origin it will ask you to press this push button so just press it. There you go. That's how we do it. Um, if you have any question, make sure to uh, comment down below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and everything like that. So this was my tutorial and I'll see you next time.